Wanakee is one win away from a state record 49th straight victory, and it can get that in a fourth straight WIAA Division II state championship against Mequon Homestead on Friday on the WisconsinPrepZone.com Game of the Week. But it's Homestead that comes out running with Shaquille Cole breaking through the line for a 41-yard gain and with a personal foul added on, the Highlanders are at Wanakee's 13. Four plays later, quarterback Jake Lyonen keeps it himself from a yard out and it's 7-0 Homestead after one quarter. Wanakee's defense shakes off that touchdown and gets back to business with Desmond Leadich coming through for the sack. But Homestead's defense is up to the task too. The pocket collapses on Wanakee quarterback Will DeCora, who takes the sack. DeCora rolls out and tries to connect with Will Helbing, but Ryan Kruiser is there to pick up the deflection for a first down. But on third and ten, DeCora tries for the screen pass, and Ryan Stendler is there for the interception and run back to the Warriors 16. Lion and drops back to pass on second down and gets it to Jack Pop, and he's ruled to have crossed the goal line with possession for the score. But the officials talk it over and change the ruling to an incompletion. That's big because two plays later, Jacob Levy picks off Lion in to get Wanaki out of danger. But the Warriors have to punt and give Homestead the ball back with 28 seconds left in the half. Jay Schneider breaks off a 53 yard run to set up this. Lion in connecting with Pop for a 22 yard touchdown 11 seconds before the break to give the Highlanders a 14-0 lead. That's how it goes into the second half and things look like they might be starting to turn for the Warriors. Dalton Kine almost gets the sack, but Jack Diedrich comes up with the interception and gives Wanaki the ball at home sets 36. That drive comes down to fourth and goal from the one and Decor trips and collides with running back Tyler Reynolds and the Warriors are again held off the scoreboard. Another fourth down for the Warriors and this time it's out of the Wildcat. Helbing hands off the Cruiser who sets up for the pass downfield to Willie Frymuth who takes it to Homestead's 24. Decor drops back and throws one out for Frymuth on the left side and he catches the ball but trips on his own feet or he'd have been in the end zone. That gives Homestead's pass defense a chance to shine when it counts. It looks like Decor has Peyton Smith for a score but the Highlanders Max Pavlik flies in to knock it away. So it comes down to fourth and goal again and Decor connects with Jacob Melhoff but Pavlik brings him down short of the goal line and Homestead holds. Decor's day gets worse here when he gets hit when he throws and Riley Pelisek comes over for the interception. So we go to the fourth quarter with Homestead still leading 14-0 and Wanaki gets close again. Decor finds Helbig on third and goal to get to the four. But it's another fourth down nightmare for the Warriors when Helbing is wide open but falls down before he catches the ball. One more fourth down for the Warriors late and Decor connects with Helbing on the screen but he's three yards shy of the first down and Homestead can start the celebration. Reynolds gets the ball in the last play for the Warriors and Homestead completes the shutout 14-0 over Wanakee for the Division II title. It was not a fun day at all. It was one of my more frustrating ones. I'm sure the kids will feel that way too. It just... Uh, Kids played hard in the second half, and we had some chances. It just seemed like, uh, you know, I don't know. It just wasn't meant to be, I guess. I think everybody, you know, expect us to play the game that we didn't really play. Uh, you know, we made a mis few mistakes uh, on defense, on offense. I know I had probably, you know, one of the worst games I've ever played, and, you know, I just feel I feel guilty. I feel like the loss is on my shoulders. I mean, being the quarterback and being the leader of this team, I'm, I'm fully responsible for this loss, and, I just want to say I'm sorry. Wanakee gets held to just 57 rushing yards and converts only two of six fourth downs. Frustrating is a good word, um, but uh, uh, you got to give them credit. They made plays. I mean, the one time we, we our quarterback gets stepped on coming out on the fourth and one, another time kids wide open and you know trips. I don't I don't know I don't know what to say. The Warriors' win streak ends at 48, tied for the best in state history. I think it's pretty cool that we were able to win that many games in a row, and, and uh, obviously, you know, we would like to have one more, but not for the streak, but for a state championship. That's what we would like to have one more for. So.